Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone into today's lesson. This is the uh, lesson for first secondary grade uh, English subject for the first semester. It is uh, Unit 1, Form, Meaning and Function, Make a Go 1. Uh, it is prepared by Khulud Kharazan and presented by me, Mazina Harbi. So welcome everyone. Our lesson objective uh, and the things that we hope that we will learn uh, in today's lesson are number one, use the following sentence correctly. The sentences are uh, simple present, present progressive, and simple past and past progressive. And then learn how to use when in a sentence and identify the difference between sentences. So uh, to begin with, we do have a, a, a question here, uh, and if you are able to know uh, the tenses of these sentences, what do you think the tense of the following sentence? So number one is, Ahmed went to the hospital yesterday, and number two is, I live in Riyadh, and number three is, she goes to school by herself, and the last one is, they have both a new house, okay? So uh, the first thing uh, to do uh, if you want to figure a sentence uh, or a sentence of any sentence is to look at the verb, to look at the verb of a sentence. So if you can see here, what is the verb of the first one? It is when. And uh, the verb of the next one? It is live. And the third one is goes. And uh, the fourth one is have both. Okay, so welcome, Hoda. Welcome to the class. We just uh, were saying that uh, uh, our today's lesson is about uh, senses, symbol bad, and item uh, sam. We're talking about uh, the senses. Let me just uh, uh, be back for our lessons today, or the things that we hope to do today. And as we said, that uh, we will use the following senses in this lesson correctly: symbol present, present progressive, and symbol bad and bad progressive. And we hope that we also will be able to learn how to use when in a sentence. And the last one is to uh, identify the difference between sentences. Okay. So the first question before we move on to the uh, grammar we have is: What do you think uh, the sense of uh, each following sentence? Uh, number one: uh, Ahmed went to hospital yesterday. What do you think the sense of this sentence? Of course, you know that if you want to figure out the sense of any sentence, the first thing you look for is the verb. Okay, so uh, looking at the verb of the first one, when, what do you think the, uh, the sense of the sentence? You can type if you like with that, uh, and tell us what is uh, the sense uh, of this one, of the first sentence. And here also we have the uh, I live in Riyadh, and three is she goes to school by bus, and uh, number four they have both a new house. Okay. So, uh, what do you think the tense of each sentence? Okay, I, I might I might help you. Okay, it's the the first sentence actually. We can call it the uh, uh, best symbol because we here we have the verb when is in the best. The same goes for live, okay, live is not in the past, so this tense or this sentence actually in the present tense. And the same goes for this one, it's also in the present tense because of the verb go. Okay, but the fourth one is actually in the past because of the verb put, okay. So uh, here we have, uh, now we uh, know what are the tenses of each tense. Because uh, the first thing we will do to figure out the tense is to look for the verb as we say. Okay. Now, moving on to the uh, next uh, uh, slide. Okay. Or the uh, the first thing we will uh, talk about is is the symbol past or the symbol present tense. Okay. So the first. Uh, thing we will learn is how to make uh, a negative sentence. How to make a negative sentence with actually simple present. Okay, so here is the form. Okay, here is how we can uh, form a sentence, a negative sentence, with the present tense. Is it the first one? We'll start with object. 
and then with helping verb or as we said auxiliary verb or and then not and then the main verb and the object and then the complement of a sentence. For example, we can see here we started I do not live in Riyadh. We started with uh, the sentence with subject I and then with a helping verb do and then with not and then with the main verb of the sentence which is here live and then with the object and then the complement of the sentence. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, and with this sense, the simple sense, okay, the husband's verbs are always either do or does or did. Okay, in the whether it's in the past tense or the present tense, the husband's verbs that we use are either do or does or did. Okay, and more examples will be ahead. Now, uh, since we, uh, we just uh, talked about how to make a negative sense, now we need a small uh, exercise about how can we make these following sentences negative, okay? So, let's go to the first one. School starts at 7 o'clock, okay? So, let us have a look at this sentence, okay? And remember the formation of making a negative sentence. We said that if you want to make a negative sentence, we'll start with subject and then with a holding verb and then with not. Okay? So for this sentence, okay, what we need to do is here we'll try to make a negative sentence. We'll try to make a negative sentence. Okay? So since uh, here uh, there isn't any uh, holding verb, we'll make or we'll add a holding verb. Okay? So we'll come back with that. Okay, as we were saying that now we want to, uh, to be able to make a negative sentence out of the first one. Okay, so what do you think? What is the uh, right answer for this one? School starts at 7 o'clock. Okay, so now we, are, we need two things. We need to add the open verb and we need to add the not as we did. Okay, so uh, look how I uh, solved this one. Okay. So school, this is the uh, this is the subject, okay. And then what do you think the proper helping verb in this case? So uh, if you want to know the proper helping verb, we said either it's either do or does or did. And in this case, since it's in the present tense and the verb is added to, to it s, okay, we we'll use does, okay. So we will say does not and since we add s with the helping verb does now we'll omit the, uh, the s on the main on the main verb so school does not start at and the completion of this sentence at seven o'clock okay so here you have okay here we have the sentence school does not start at seven o'clock there is a subject and then a helping verb, and then not, and then uh, the main verb start. Yes, and then the main verb start, and then the complement of um, the complement of the sentence. Okay. Would you like uh, to try the next one? Would you like to uh, try the next one? Our English class is on Monday. You can use, by the way, uh, you can drag a text box here and try to um, try to type the answer. And remember what uh, do, uh, do, uh, what did we say? That the first thing is to add the subject and then a helping verb and then not and then the main verb and the rest of the completion. Yes, you can uh, start with number two. You can, as I said, just drag your text box here, okay, and do number two. Uh, our English class is on Monday. Now, what I need to do is to make a, um, a negative sentence. Very good. Our English
Okay, very good try, Ida. Very good try. Okay, well, uh, let me um, try to correct you a little bit. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, a very good try. Actually, uh, if you remember, the, the key to answer or the key to make uh, a sentence negative is to add not after each holding verb, right? And we said that, uh, uh, as you see, uh, let me just be back to the, no, the previous slide. Yes, we said here that if you want to add not, or if you want to make the sentence negative, we must add not after the helping verb, right? But what if the sentence already has a helping verb, like this one? Like this one, okay? So here, um, here we do have actually uh, a helping verb. Yes, here we all we already have uh, a helping verb, which is is. Okay, is here or uh, there? Is considered as a helping verb. Okay, so all what we have to do with this sentence is only adding. Yes is only adding what? This is already, uh, we already have the, a helping verb, okay? So we don't have to use does or do. We just add, very good, yes, excellent, okay? Yes, we all have, we have to do is only adding not after the helping verb. Very good, Huda. Okay, now just for the uh, sake of time, we need to uh, move on, okay? But very good. Yes, as you said, isn't class. Excellent. As you see here, school does not start at 7 o'clock. Here we add does because there is only a main verb. There isn't any helping verb. But in this one, we only added not because there is already a helping verb. And in this one, the party starts at 9 o'clock. We added a, a helping verb because there isn't a helping verb. And the same goes for the last one. Okay? And here, since the verb is in the past, we added a helping verb, but also in the past, which is this. Very good job, Oda. Excellent. Okay, now we'll move on to how to make a yes or no question with the present or the symbol uh, or the past tense. Symbol past tense. Okay. So to make a question, it's very very easy. Just uh, the first one begin with a helping verb, and then with the subject, and with the main verb and then with the object and the complement of the sentence, okay? So, since we are in, we're talking about the uh, symbol present or symbol bath, okay? So, the helping verb will be always either do, does, or did. And this is what, how can we make a question. For example, we see this one. Do you live in Riyadh? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. And this, by the way, we call it a yes to no question. Any question starts with the helping verb, it is called a yes to no question, okay? So let's have more examples about this. Now, make a yes to no question out of the following sentences, okay? So as you can see here, school starts at seven o'clock, okay? So what we need to do is to make a yes to no question for the first one. And now, let me ask you, since here we have the verb start, okay? What do you think is the appropriate open verb that should we use for this sentence to start our question? Is it do, or does, or did? This is the verb, okay? So what do you think the proper uh, helping verb that we should use for this, uh, this sentence? You can type if you like. Tell us, is it uh, uh, do, or does, or did? For the third one, now as you can see here, here's the verb start, okay? And we want to make a question out of the word start, out of this word, okay? So let me help you with this one, okay? How can I actually know which, uh, uh, which holding verb is appropriate with uh, the verb? As I said, okay, that it depends. If it's in the simple present, okay, we use does or do. And when do we use does? If it's uh, the subject, either it, he or she, and when do we use do? 
if the subject are uh, uh, either I, you, they, or we. Okay? And the same goes for here. When do we use did as, uh, in the beginning of the question? It depends if the, actually the verb is in the back. So here, since we have both is in the back, so we will begin our question with did. But if we already have a helping verb, we just drag it in the beginning and we say it in our English class on Monday. Here you can see the answer. Very good, okay? So here, school starts at 7 o'clock. We use does, does school start at 7 o'clock? Because here, does is a helping verb that uh, represents thought, okay? And here, if we already, as I said, if we already have a helping verb, we just drag it to the beginning, okay? And here we have a question. Is our English class on Monday? Okay? And then, I bought a new skirt yesterday. We use, uh, since we have here the verb is in the past, we will use did. Did you buy a new skirt? Okay? Very well. Okay, so this is basically how can we form a yes or no question with the symbol present or the symbol that fit. Okay? So, uh, yes, now I'm going, uh, I'm going to need you to choose the correct answer. Okay? So, choose with the, the correct answer you see. Ahmed lives, lives or lives in Abraham. What do you think? What do you think the appropriate um, uh, or the right answer for this one? Okay, you can use the pen here. You can use the pen and uh, choose any answer you like. For the first one, Ahmed lived in Abha. Very good, okay. But why exactly do you use live? Is there an indication uh, uh, in, the, in the sentence that tells you he lived in Abha uh, 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 in the past, but now he's living uh, somewhere else? Is there a, a sentence you can see here? Is there a completion or anything that tells you he was living in Abha, but now he's living on another place? Okay, let's go for number two. My parents travel, travel, travel to Jitta last month. Okay, so uh, as you did Hitta, just choose the right answer for the number two. My parents travel, travel, or travel to Jitta last month. What do you think? For number two, what do you think? Yes, you can choose uh, uh, any uh, answer you like. For number two, you said. My parents traveled to Jeddah last month. Very good. And Ahmed lived in a very good Jeddah. Very good. Okay. But now, let's check the answers, the right answers, and then I'm going to explain how can we choose uh, each one. Very good, Jeddah. Okay. So, now, as you can see here, okay, you may have a different answer. So, Ahmed lived in Abha, okay? If we say that Ahmed lived in Abha, it's correct, but when, if there is a completion or uh, if there is a, 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 a percentage continues so that now he's living somewhere else. So we can say, Ahmed lived in Abha, but now he lives in Riyadh. Then we can use live. But here, since there is no uh, complement of the sentence, and since maybe the sentence indicates now in the present tense, we use live. Because it's in the present. And here, my parents traveled to Jeddah last month. It means, if you read this, last month. Last month it means in the past. This action or this verb happens in the past. And since it happens in the past, we would travel. Okay? Very good job, Hida. Very good job. Now let's move on to the next slide we have. Now we're going to talk about the present progressive or the past progressive tense. Very simple one. It says the past progressive tense is on about the subject and then a helping verb and then verb plus ing. As you can see here, they are working. They are working. Okay? So now uh, this is a very important note, by the way. The helping verb in this tense and the past progressive or the present progressive are is and are or in the past, was, or where, okay? So now, 
How can we make a negative? As we said for the uh, present tense symbol, uh, simple present tense symbol past tense, we only add not. We only add not after what? After the holding verb. Okay. So not only available or only we can turn the sentence into negative after the helping verb. After a helping verb. Okay. Let's see more examples about this. Here. Now make the following sentences negative. Okay. Here I want you to try the first one. Okay. I am watching TV. Okay. And as we said previously that if you want to add not, it must be after the helping verb, okay? So can you tell me where is the helping verb in this sentence? Is it I or am or watching or TV? Can you type and tell me what is the helping verb of the first sentence here? Is it I, am or watching or TV? What do you think? The helping verb. What is the helping verb in this sentence? The first sentence. What is the helping verb of this sentence? Is it I or am or watching or TV? Very good. Watching is the main verb. Okay. Watching is the main verb. Now we're not looking for a main verb. Excellent. Yes. It is am. Am is the helping verb. Okay. And the rule says we add not only, only, only after a helping verb, which is in this case it is am, and are, and was. Okay. So let's have uh, uh, let's uh, see the examples or the answers. Very good, Huda. Uh, Huda, excellent job. So here I am not. Okay. We added not after the helping verb, and they are not. And I was not. Okay? Excellent job. Very good. So this is how can we make a negative sentence with past progressive or present progressive. Okay? Now let's move on uh, to how can we make a yes to no question. Very, very, very simple. As we did with the uh, previous one. Okay? So we only, all we have to do is to add the holding verb. Okay? We add the holding verb uh, at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? We add the holding verb at the beginning of the sentence and before the subject. And here in the present progressive, okay, the holding verbs are either, as we said, either am, is, are, or in the past, was, or where. Okay? We will have uh, more examples about this. So I'm going to do the first one. Okay? Now uh, uh, the question said, make a yes or no question with the following sentence. Okay. So we said, if you remember, Oda, we said that if you want to make a question, you know, all what you have to do is to add the helping verb in the beginning. So here, what is the helping verb of this sentence? We said am, okay. And the helping verb of the second one is are, and the helping verb for the third one was. And we drag the these helping verb in the beginning, okay. We put them in the beginning, and then we'll have a question. Okay? See here? Here's the example. Okay? I am watching TV. So if I want to ask you or to ask about what you're doing, he said, are you watching TV? Are you watching TV? The same goes for the uh, second question. They are learning. They just bring R in the beginning, and the question will be, are they learning English right now? Okay? And then also this one. I was absent. Okay? So we drag was at the beginning and the question will be, was you absent? Was you absent? Yes, I was or no, I wasn't according to a uh, question. Okay? Very well. So now we move to another uh, grammar rule, which is uh, I don't think it will be uh, difficult. So I need you to also to have a look at this one. Okay, it says here choose the correct answer, whether it's present or uh, past progressive. Okay, I'll give you the first one. Ahmed talks or is talking or talks or talks with his friend now. Okay, focus on now. So Ahmed talks 
is talking, spoke or talked with his friend now. Okay? So what do you think? You can use the friend and to choose the right answer. Okay? So for the first one, what do you think the right answer is? Is it talk? Is talking? Or talk? Or talk? Okay? Yes, so that you can choose. You can choose the right uh, or any uh, answer you like. Okay, uh, I'm going to do the first one. Okay, so actually here we said Ahmed is talking. Okay, and why do you use this one? Because the sentence said he's talking with his friend now. And if you want to express the verb or actions happening now, we add ing to the verb. We add ing to the verb here. You can have a look. So yes, Ahmed is talking with his friend now. Okay. And number three, the temperature is uh, yes. And here we have uh, next is uh, Ahmed is talking with his friend, and we said we use uh, talking because we use talking because uh, uh, it's in the present tense. Okay, and here, for example, the temperature in the cold is changing, okay, drastically, okay. So we use changing because this is actually happening now, okay, this is happening now, okay. And here we have a very good example of the last one, the difference between simple present and present progressive, which is John lives in France, okay, but he is studying in London this year, okay. So the word this year uh, tell us that he is now is studying, okay, in London. So here, since this action happening now, we add ing, okay. Very well. So uh, now we will we'll move to the last part of our lesson today, which is about both the past progressive tense plus when plus the simple past tense, okay. So here we're going to uh, learn how or when can we use the word when, okay? It says here that we use when to indicate that a longer and continuous action is interrupted by a short one. So actually there are two actions happening, okay? So here you have uh, an example. He was walking to college when he saw Samir, okay? So there are two actions happening. The first one, he was walking, and the other one, he saw Samir, okay? And to connect these actions, we will wait, okay? So, um, so here, uh, number two, choose the correct answer. So I was studying when she called or called or calling. What do you think? So, since there are two actions happening, two actions happening, okay, we use on the first one, the first action, we use that progressive tense, which is one plus a verb uh, with ing, and then we'll use, after when, we'll use simple past tense, which is here, code. Here will be code, okay? The same, uh, the same here. She took or take or was taking a shower when the phone rang, okay? So as we said, uh, when we use when, okay, we indicate the second uh, tense of the next sentence, okay, was talking. Excellent, excellent, very good. Yes, so was talking actually is the past progressive tense, then uh, comes when, and then symbol past tense. Very good, Huda. Now, what if... What if if we uh, uh, if we use uh, uh, if we didn't use when in the middle? Okay. So here you have an example. It says here that my mom called my little sister was crying. Okay. So if we want to add when at the beginning, okay, we can use a simple bath first. So when my mom called my little sister was crying. Okay. Or we can use when in the middle, okay? We can use when in the middle and we say, I was playing football when I broke my leg, okay? So 
here is uh, how can we use when and in which tense. Okay. So this is a summary. Uh, thank you for participation, Elizabeth. Before you go, let's revise the summary together. It says here symbol past or present in affirmative. We use do, does, and in negative we use uh, uh, did uh, and add not after the helping verb. And with the question, we start with either do, does, or did. Okay. And then with the past progressive uh, using when. After when we use the symbol bat, and with affirmative, the helping verb we use are either is, am, are, or was, or were, and with negative we add uh, we add it after the helping verb, and with the question we start with either is, am, are, was, or were, and then the subject, and then the verb, and then the object, and the complement of 